Welcome back to Great Day on this Tuesday morning. We have a lot of wonderful organizations in our area, but this morning we're focusing on one that creates superhero capes for kids who are battling medical issues. Such a cool program, what a great concept. Very, very cool. We're so excited to welcome Robin Rosenberger to the show this morning. Thank she is the founder me. of Tiny Superheroes. How are you, Robin? I'm good, thank you for having Say me. Say hey to the three Hello. boys watching, because we know yeah. they're tuned in. They into are Bobby's watching. Room. Hello. So this really <laughs> happened uh, kind of by accident. Tell me how yeah. this came about. So I, I've i always been a crafty-ish, you know? Yeah. And um, I was apparently bored with a job and one kid. So I started making superhero capes. And at first it was like, I think my dog might have gotten the first one and my son maybe got the second one. But um, then I was introduced to this story of a little girl who was born in Illinois with a really severe skin disorder. And I was like, she's a superhero. And so I, I reached out and I sent her a cape. And that's where it all started. That's where it started, and yeah. And to say that it's exploded would probably be an understatement. Do you have any idea how many kids, how many states, how many countries around the globe yeah. your, your superheroes are flying around? Now? Yeah, so families can nominate their kid for a cape from anywhere, mm -hmm. and we've sent over 100,000 capes. 100,000 capes? Yeah, and it's 26 countries. It's really global. That's quite a production. How it's in the world do you manufacture that? Wow. Yeah. So what does getting that cape mean to these children? And uh, once you've explained that, maybe you can show off a few of these capes. Yeah, when I started, I, I think I really, if, if it made them happy, Right. That was like a win. Mission accomplished. Yeah. Um, when I started seeing them wear it to surgeries or doctor's appointments or therapies, it was like really mm -hmm. kind of blew my mind. Um, and not to just dive really deep for you, but for me, kind of my where where I was like sold on like this is my life's work was when families started using them as like a memorial at the funeral. Oh, my goodness. And I never would have imagined, mm -mm. but it is much more than a cape. And did I, while we're talking about the, the sentimental value attached to this and the importance that you place on the happiness of these kids, I don't want to give away too much of your personal life here, but my understanding is for one person, you gave more than a cape. You actually gave a kidney. <laughs> that is, is this true? That is true. In fact, in like two weeks, it's our four year anniversary. Wow. Yeah, and he's only five. <laughs> so he was, he was a little baby at the time. He was actually one of our tiny superheroes. You are too good to be sitting in this chair no, right now no. amongst the likes of Kent Earhart <laughs> and myself. But before we let you go, I want to find out how our viewers can help make these tiny superheroes dreams come true. How can they help you yeah, in your mission? So there's two ways at tinysuperheroes.com. You can sponsor a cape. So we'll find the kid. If you sponsor the cape, we'll send it out. But also like for families with kids, we have tiny superheroes with autism and heart defects and terminal illnesses, like the whole, our community is broad. And if you have a child who would benefit from being on our squad, you can nominate them on our website today. That's awesome. So you can volunteer to help and you can nominate a child who would yep. be deserving. Can you show off a yeah, couple of these this, before you go? This is Super Sheldon's oh cape. Gosh. He was my youngest. So we also have a program where they earn patches for their capes. <laughs> so they earn them by unlocking superpowers, um, it's kind of fun. It's kind of like their Boy Scout, Girl Scout program, but for yeah. for tiny superheroes. Um, and we have different sizes and we have, this is my middle son Milo's cape. And on the inside it's like their superpowers, courage, How strength. How great is that? Yeah. You should be extremely proud of what you've accomplished and the number, the sheer number of lives that you've touched. Well, thank remarkable. you. They, they are, it's a remarkable group yeah. of people for what sure. What a rewarding program. Robin, thank you very much. Thank you. You can find this segment, by the way, right after the show on our website, KMOV.com slash Great Day Kent. We would encourage our viewers to share it with mm -hmm. people, spread the word. Absolutely. It all started just by making a cape for a dog and one of her boys and look at what it's turned into. I'm so glad there's people like Robin around. <laughs> <laughs> to for keep every the rest two of us, us yes. there's one of her. Yes, yeah. thank goodness. <laughs>